Now, before I begin, I want to make one more note about all this work, and that is stay current with the program, with the applications, because things change over time. When I first started doing these interactive demos here in InDesign, you could export your file as a Swift file, small web file, a flash player. But now when I go to file, if I try save as, you can't do that. You can only save it as InDesign documents, so I can't do that. If I go to file, export, I have the option to make it an interactive PDF, but like I showed before, some of the features don't work, like video playback. So I don't want that. An interactive PDF would be just like page buttons so they can flip through a book. But I've got video, animations, timing, all this stuff. So I don't want an interactive PDF. I obviously don't want it for print. I don't see SWF here anymore. What I want is an e-publication with a fixed layout right here. EPUB fixed layout. So I'm gonna highlight the name here, G.I. Joe Interactive EPUB. I'll save it to my desktop and let's see, use InDesign document name. Yeah, we'll just change that. Uh, click save. Now it's gonna give me the settings. Okay, export the range of all pages rasterize the first page well yeah of course it's all seen on screen anywhere uh, there's no table of contents based on the document setup is fine I'm gonna keep it on all the defaults here okay I'm not even gonna change anything here can't really change anything there anyway so I'll just keep it on the defaults and I'm gonna click OK then it's gonna go through its process exporting an e-publication, an electronic publication. And on my Mac, it's gonna open up, oops, let's see, file was exported, one problem. Yeah, whatever, let's click okay. All right, there it is in my books for e-publications. So now let's test it out in my EPUB. I send it as a separate e-publication file, a standalone file, one file. I've got all my rollovers. Let's just click. Got my animation fly in. Got my object states working. I've got my next page button working. Previous page. And let's go down to page 12. The big test. Remember, we couldn't do this one or I couldn't do this one because I screw up with my media panel. But all the rest should work. stop I think this is like a quick time playback skin I'm seeing but whatever that was also on the media panel I can't get rid of that this is a playback bar what they call a skin which allows you to add stop play resume buttons but that was on the media panel I just can't do that here um, but let's play it And I'm going to play it out once here. The greatest cartoon in the world. He never gives up. Fighting for freedom over land and air. G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe is the code name for America's highly trained special missions force its purpose to defeat your freedom against Cobra. To rule the world. G.I. Joe will dare. G.I. Joe. All right, there we go. Our whole video played out as an e-publication file here. Uh, there's my books, and let's just click outside of that. Um, there it is. Click on that e-pub. There we go. 
it's its own standalone little file here and we can quit the books come back to InDesign and that's how you do an interactive file here in Adobe InDesign. So imagine doing an interactive file with your portfolio. You could show little detail shots of your paintings. People can click and then go down to a page about that painting. You could have a description, the medium, the size. You can even have a little video of yourself talking about the painting. There's so many things you could do to introduce yourself to a whole new audience. Pretty amazing and all done right here in InDesign and launching it as an e-publication. I love that. So there you go. Interactive documents in InDesign.